All right then. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try playing with a few sequences and see if we can get our inductive reasoning juices flowing. So uh, here we go. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Da da. And uh, what do you think about that? Okay. Well, what can, what can you see? Well, you see. Oh, that sounds so familiar. Uh, well, you're going up by two there. Oh, you're going up by two there, and you're going up by two there. Oh, great. It's adding two every time. So if I notice the rule, okay, here's the rule that I can uh, suggest for this, you know, adding two each time, okay, uh, then uh, I'm going to have uh, 14 and 16 and 18. Well, that works. That's nice. Uh, what if I had uh, something that uh, looked like this? Uh, 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, 11, 14, uh, 17, and uh, 20 and 24, and dot, 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 okay, well, say, hmm, well, let's see what happens here, well, here's a 2, that's uh, how much that's gone up, and there's 2 more, and there's 2, and whoa, oh, that's 3, and that's 3, and that's 3, and that's three. There's four threes. Mm. Uh, and that's four. And you might not be nearly so certain at this point as to what's going to happen here. Now, you would probably think that from the looks of it, since you had gone from adding twos to adding threes and then here's a point of adding fours that you would probably be safe in adding fours okay but you can see how uh, you might not be nearly so uh, certain as to this sequence the fact is that there are some sequences for which we can only sort of guess at it because we don't have quite enough information well, here's uh, one that I showed you before. Uh, one, one, two, three, uh, five, eight, thirteen, and we'll take a look at the next two. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, called the Fibonacci sequence. And uh, the Fibonacci sequence was invented uh, by a man uh, in the early 1200s. And uh, man from Florence uh, named Fibonacci, and uh, he was investigating how many rabbits you would have after a certain number of months. Came up with this lovely sequence, uh, theoretical sequence. Well, let's see. Hmm. Well, this goes. This doesn't go up any. This goes up by one, and this goes up by one, and this goes up by two, and this goes up by three. And goes up by five. Uh-oh, looks like, you know, one, one, two, three, five. Looks like that sequence is just gonna repeat itself. Hmm. So, if I take a look though, one plus one is, two, yeah, that's right, two, and one plus two is three, and two plus three is five, and three plus five is eight, and five plus eight is 13, that I think, if I, even if I don't put that up there, that you'd be able to uh, figure out the remaining part uh, of that. Well, uh, let's see here. How about another one? Uh, oh, let's see. Mm. Um, let's see. 7, 11, and 16, and uh, 22, and uh, 
nine and uh, uh, thirty. Okay, so here's this. I think I've got this right. Uh, let's see. So this goes up by what? what do you think? Four, right? Okay. This goes up by five, and this goes up by six, and that by seven, and that by eight. Oh, then what conclusion can we draw now? Uh, from uh, this kind of a sequence. Well, this goes up possibly by 9, and this then by 10. So this one should be a, uh, what, 46, and this should be a 56. Well, in that kind of a vein, well, let's take a look here at uh, 1, 4, 9, 16, 45, 36, and we'll look at the uh, next three values, okay? And so what I want you to see here is, hmm, uh, this goes up by three, and this goes up by five, this goes up by seven, and this goes up by nine, and from here to here is 11, and so I'm looking at this, I then have three, and that should have been a Five, thank you. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Ooh, looks like it's going up by odd numbers. So thirteen and fifteen and seventeen. And so this would be uh, forty-nine, and this would be sixty-four, and this would be eighty-one. Well, that's uh, very, very nice. Uh, but it turns out there is another way to look at this. And if you look at it uh, this way, well, this is 1 squared, and this is 2 squared, and this is 3 squared, and this is 4 squared, and this is 5 squared, and this is 6 squared, 7 squared, 8 squared, and 9 squared. Oh, what is this telling us? This is telling us essentially that there is more than one way we can look at a lot of patterns. Just because you saw it one way and I saw it another doesn't make you wrong, nor does it necessarily make me wrong. The fact is that we can both come up with the same answer very often by more than one way of representing the problem. Remember, we were talking about multiple means of representation. So you can see these, this sequence here uh, has uh, a, you know, a, a way of figuring it out this way and a way of seeing it uh, this way. A lot of it is going to be dependent upon our expectations. How do you expect, what do you expect things to do? Or what do you expect things to be? Um, here's a little sequence for you. I'm not going to give you the answer to it. But I am going to suggest that you think about it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, but, I'll tell you what. I will give you a little hint. I will give you a little hint. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, you know, count. Yeah, I told you. Just give you a little bit. 